Hi everyone and welcome to Growing Craft and I really hope you all are doing good and today we are going to create something really beautiful which is just perfect for your DIY home decor. Uh, yes, today we are going to do decoupage art on an uh, old tin jar and meanwhile please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out any of our updates. Now coming back to this tutorial, here we are using our white gesso. You have to make sure that you apply a generous amount of gesso with your paintbrush and let it dry completely. You can even use your heat guns and whatever the supplies I am using are there on our website at growingcraft.com. Please do check that too. After my drying process here, I am just scrubbing, uh, giving it a little uh, rustic look. You can use your sandpapers, your filers, whichever works out for you. I really like this rustic home decor DIY ideas, which is so easy and are like super easy to make at home. And it adds a lot of charm to your home decor. Now here I'm going to use my decoupage napkin. And yes, meanwhile, do not forget to check us on other social medias and do share your love with us now here i'm going to use my decoupage napkin if you want you can even use your decoupage papers and you can use the options are literally unlimited so decoupage art is something which i really love doing which is so easy and one of the best ways to uh, use your old stuff and uh, do a quick makeover use different art forms and create something beautiful now here with the help of my decoupage glue or you can even use Mod Podge, you can actually uh, stick your napkins really well on your uh, base. So that's the reason we use white gesso so that our bases are prepped up and then we can have our napkins or papers. If you want, you can use magazine cutouts and it's totally your choice. So here I am just trying to avoid any wrinkles on my decoupage art. So here I am trying to use the perfect amount of my Mod Podge or your decoupage glue and I'm using my same brush to press it really well. Now meanwhile I'm doing this process, I have also decided that I'm going to use some more chalk paints on this, some stamping work. Of course I'm going to use my massive stamp. Now here in this video, you have seen me using the napkin, which was like half used. So this is the best way of using your decoupage napkins in different ways. Like you can just, you just use one napkin and uh, create like different artworks from that one piece of napkin. Now here I'm almost done with my sticking work and this old tin jar is looking so amazing already but we have a lot of work to do right now and I need to make sure that I dry it well. dry it dry again here I'm using my heat gun and this really saves time. This is one of the best tools that I have. Removing all the excessive decoupage papers and uh, I'm just trying to make sure that the leftover extra hai wo nikal jai. and once that is done, here I'm going to use my chalk paints. Please, please, please do use your chalk paints. Do not use your acrylic paints uh, when you are doing your decoupage art. Why? I have already done a tutorial on that. Do check out my channel and that will help you in understand that better. So, here I use my chalk paint and I'm just doing a beautiful color blending work on my decoupage art. This is going to blend with my base so really well that it, you will not even make out if this was a napkin or it was painted. Now, meanwhile, I have just realized that I, uh, by mistake, I had trimmed down this part of the bird. So, I just added some more chalk paint and it's done. Now, I'm going to use my massive stamp so stamping is something which i really like when you are doing your decoupage and your mixed media art and i think it's one of the best ways of adding a lot of drama to your projects so here i'm using my arcaval permanent ink pad so do check out and do use your permanent ink pads only with your massive stamping so yes once i'm done with my stamping here i'm using my massive varnish at least two to three coats because these are going to be my planters so they have to like last long so yes with this my tutorial is done do, do let me know in the comment section if you guys like this tutorial do let me know your feedbacks and thank you so much for watching guys take care and bye bye